weekend finally we are so excited because it's been raining here for the past three days and the sun is out so we're gonna have a fun weekend in lockdown exactly yeah we're gonna go uh, maybe for a bike ride uh, play some golf golf courses golf. are open but first we need to sort out this uh this barnet of yours yeah needs a little bit of a trim rising sun hits the sky see it open before us take these hopes We're going to go out on a little bit of a bike ride in a minute. We are. It's such nice weather. But first, I need a coffee. Let's make some coffee. Coffee, coffee. Open fields, distant shores, every anticipation. find someone to sit down and answer a couple questions that we've had on the videos. A few of you have wanted to get to know us, so um, if you want to ask any questions, put them in the comments and we'll uh, do another Q&A. But we're going to just answer a few that we've already had, so you can get to know us a little bit. Is it rolling? It's rolling. So we found a nice spot to sit and answer some of your questions. So the first one that we've been getting quite a lot is how did you two meet? How did we meet? Nine, nine years ago now. Nine years ago, uh, we went to Loughborough University. We were actually in the same halls together. We lived, um, we actually lived opposite each other. So our rooms, like our windows were pretty much opposite each other over um, a little courtyard. Never met for a whole Never saw year. each other. And then the first time I saw her... Um, it was like a summer ball, wasn't it? Was it was a summer ball for that hall. I saw some girl and was like, who is she? Uh, but I didn't have, you know, the courage to go and talk to her that night. I was with You're all my very friends. Shy, weren't you? I was, yeah. And then if it was a few months later, I was. Um, it's like a sports hall um, sort of meeting where you sort of go around and sign up to different sports clubs at university. And Jamie was the chair of the wakeboarding society. And I just literally saw you across this really, really busy, crowded room. He was at this stand. We were trying to get like new members to the club. And I just spotted you from afar, and that was it. You then signed up. That weekend we went came... wakeboarding and we had fun, had a barbecue, hung out. Yeah. Evening turned into sort of a few drinks, bit of a party. Uh, that's when you asked me back for a cup of tea yeah. at four o'clock in the morning. She came back for a cup of tea. As you do. And then the, sort of the rest is history. That was it. Yeah. We've been together dating ever since, so nine years ago. That's a long story. But Loughborough short, University short story wakeboarding. Is, yeah, short story is university. Uh, we've got quite a few questions about the song, so the wedding song. Yep. We've had, a, are you professional musicians slash singers? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, we wish. A complete hobby. I've played the piano from a very young age and uh, sort of taught myself a little bit of guitar. I played saxophone, but I've been kind of musical-ish. Can't read music at all. You just do everything from... Um, yeah, from sort of listening. So when someone says, can you play this song, I'll be able to play it. Not very well. Uh, and then you've been... Yeah, I, I was kind of the same sort of at school. I went to um, a school that really sort of championed performing arts. Um, so I did a lot of singing at school, had singing lessons as a kid. And then I just sort of 
kept it up, but it is very much a hobby. Up until the, the wedding, we've only ever done it for like friends and family and little sort of gatherings or parties. And we just enjoy being creative, being silly, yeah. changing the lyrics to songs. Um, At home, some evenings we'll just go up into the office um, and play the piano. It's just a good way to wind down and relax. And believe it or not, we are actually, you in particular, like, when it comes to sort of like uploading this kind of stuff, we've up until now we've been very, very shy. We're very nervous about the reaction and whether people would like it or not because we aren't professional. We do just do it for fun. So mm. um, the reception that we've had on, on that one video has just been completely overwhelming. So thank you again. Okay, another question. Did you write the lyrics to the song? Yes. Yes, we did. And it took a long time. <laughs> Six months to be exact. The, your sister's song, Hannah, uh, the Can You Feel The Love Tonight, that was written about a week before the wedding because <laughs> we wrote three or four different versions in different songs um, and we just felt like the Can You Feel The Love Tonight was the best option. I really struggled with that one because my sister and I are incredibly close and I think that's what made it even more difficult is, you know, I wanted to get it right, I wanted to get the, the words right, so that one was definitely the hardest and it was the hardest one to sing. I almost lost it. My voice is so wobbly. It's like, I'm almost going to cry, but I just held it together. Oh, I mean, whilst we're on the topic of the video, another question you have been asking, is Tarzan single? <laughs> Oh, Tarzan. He's my best friend from Loughborough. Um, we met, well, it was wakeboarding. When I was chairman, he was vice chair. Um, he was there the day that we met. Yeah, he was there that the day night. that we met. We then went on to do lacrosse together. We rode together. Uh, he's kind of my partner in crime when it comes to sports and stuff like that. We did pretty much everything together. I thought you were going to say picking up the ladies. Oh, no. <laughs> he did help you, though. He probably did, yeah. <laughs> um, we love Tarzan. And his Instagram is... We did check that with him. He's happy for us to share. Yeah. So you can go and see a gorgeous Tarzan if you want. Okay, um, so a couple more questions about us in general. What do you do for work? I'm really into my tech. Love all tech stuff. I, from a young age, kind of was coding. I actually have a tech startup, a tech startup called Mine. That's M-Y-N-E. Um, it's all to do with putting little microchips onto products like sports equipment, clothing, teddy bears, literally anything. They're very small chips, kind of links your item to the internet. It's an early stage startup. The official proper launch will be in a couple of weeks time, but spending a lot of time on that. And I do some freelance coding for a healthcare company. You're a jack of all trades. There's actually in the office a little joke that I'm called Jadge, which is just ask Jamie. If anything needs doing, I might not be able to do it, but I'll give it a good go. Yeah, he's, he's a very handy friend to have around. Um, what do I do? So, well, more simply, I work in the media industry, um, so on the sports side of things. I love my sport, so work in the media industry and in sport. Another question we've had, actually, well, whilst you've been mentioning some tech and technology, uh, a lot of people want to know what cameras we use and how oh, we film. Yeah. And for the wedding video, we had one specifically about how it was filmed. Um, we had an amazing company called Baxter and Ted did all the videography for our, our wedding and we highly recommend them. They were amazing. The guests actually afterwards asked if it had all been filmed because they never saw them. They kind of just flitted around. They got all the moments, but we never really saw them. They didn't get in the way. Um, so the song was recorded by just the two of them, two cameras, um, obviously lots of different angles. They kept moving around and we had a photographer. Yeah, Hannah, Hannah Duffy, Hannah Duffy, who was amazing. The photos look great. If you want to see some photos, there on JamieandMegan.com. That was kind of for our wedding guests, but you, you know, can you can a have a look. Tech in general, yeah, day to day. What when we use? film sort of this sort of stuff, uh, this is a Canon 80D. We have a DJI Mavic drone, a vlog camera, which is the G7X. I've got a DJI Osmo Pocket. I kind of love tech, so as soon as something <laughs> new comes out, I don't spend my money on many things apart from technology. So again, GoPros as well. Um, we'll make a list maybe in the description of the things that we use because everything is good for certain aspects. Yeah. Um, so like most people at home will have um, like a messy drawer where they just keep loads of things. In our house, it's just drawer upon drawer of wires and leads technology yeah. and leads. I haven't got a clue what half of them do, but he does. I love my tech, yeah. A few of you want to know about the poems that our, our family read out in the ceremony. So there were two poems, one by your mum, 
who is Dutch, and one by my gramps, my grandpa, who's very, very northern. He's from the north of England. We will put a link in the description to both of those poems. Another question about us, where are we from? A lot of the Americans seem to like our accents. <laughs> so I'm actually from Lancashire, so north of England. So my accent is different to your, well, the main difference between our accents is that I would say glass, bath, grass that we're sitting on and you would say glass bath grass um but i'm from lancashire you're from norfolk i'm from norfolk which is where we are at the moment and the final question um what can we expect from your channel good question because up until two weeks ago we didn't have a channel and then all of a sudden the wedding video went crazy a few of the others have had you know strong views as well and our minds are still blown at the idea that 13,000 of you have subscribed and want to know more about us. So this is where we're kind of doing this video. So what can you expect from our channel? You can expect songs, bit of singing, Disney, musical stuff. We are going to do hopefully more vlogs like this. We love to travel. Um, like Jamie said, we, he loves technology. We film and we have done for years, we filmed a lot of stuff. So I've got many a hard drive with so much content on. And now that there's 13,000 of you out there, that has kind of shown an interest. We feel as though some of those videos that we make, we can put online and kind of share with you what we're up to. Um, but also, you know, if you like the songs, if you want to hear more songs, do you want to hear more of our day to day? Send requests. Q and A similar to this, whatever it is. This is completely new to us. We're not really sure how it's all gonna, you know, pan out, but we feel very grateful that you guys have obviously subscribed to us. Yeah. See what we'll do, but definitely songs, travel videos, and also day-to-day -day life, you know, we, we love our life in London. It'll be really fun for us to sort of share a little bit more of that, I guess. Yeah. So I think that's the Q&A done for now. Yeah. We didn't really think this whole field thing through because we are getting eaten alive. So I think it's- A lot um, of bugs everywhere. I think it's a good idea to head back to the house. We'll have some lunch and then we are off to play golf this afternoon. It's one of the sports that we are allowed to do because we're still currently in lockdown in the UK, but you can use golf courses, so. Go and play a little bit of golf, I think. Wish yep. I could start again. Wish I knew now what I knew back then. Is it too late for a second chance at innocence? This is Jamie's idea of a perfect date. Um, I just get dragged along. Buy me like some new pink golf balls, pink golf shoes, pink clubs, and that's basically how he gets me here by buying me pink equipment. That's the rule. And then he can come and take me on a date to play golf. <laughs> People need to leave comments to help us improve. Oh, yeah. That'd be most welcome. See you on the course. And I wish that I could start again. Wish I knew now what I knew back then Is it too late for a second chance at innocence? We are just over halfway. At the 13th? We're up the 13th, yeah, nice long, long it must be par five. Very nice shot from Megan. Um, we are currently playing Stapleford and with the handicaps, we're both on 20. So I don't know what that means in the grand scheme of things, but we are very similar. My brother and my dad are just behind on about 17. Um, oh, sorry, I've just gone past her. Good drive from Megan. Very nice day, absolutely roasting. We can see it's right all the way down. Somewhere this way. Let's see it. Where's it getting? Nice shot. <laughs> Do you have a mulligan? No. We just finished our round of golf. 18 holes, beautiful weather. Really nice. Um, and turns out with our handicap. I 
one by Megan one. Megan won by one point. So Stapleford, she got, I can't remember how many points it was, but she won. You're buying the drinks. Yes. A little annoyed, but I'll have to get her out on the course to play again. <laughs>